Hi, my name is Spencer Hink, and this is my uh, final video, <clears throat> final report for my internship this winter semester. So uh, just a little bit about me first. My name is Spencer Hink. I'm from Rexburg, Idaho, um, majoring in construction management. And for my internship this semester, I uh, was a pre-construction inter intern for Headwaters Construction, which is here in Rexburg. They are a general contractor. They uh, originally started uh, out in Victor as a high-end uh, home building company um, that, that is in Victor, Idaho. Then they expanded over to uh, here to Rexburg and uh, they're expanding now over to uh, Utah, Montana, and they've got jobs. We've got jobs going on in uh, Texas, uh, all over the place. So they're really growing a lot. Um, <clears throat> so my role as a pre-construction intern was basically helping around uh, with all the uh, pre-construction managers. Um, I'll go into a little bit more detail about that. But when I first started um, at this company, we had you know typical training. Uh, and, uh, my boss, who was the, the pre-construction director there, he uh, showed me or gave me some training about what they do there how they, they work as a general contractor and how their pre-construction department works. So I wanted to just go over um, kind of the process of how uh, we do things there. So we first start out with uh, business development, which is uh, not part of pre-construction, but it is because it's, um, you know, it's before all the, all the construction and all the planning happens. So we have business development, which is you know, meeting with clients, um, meeting with uh, potential I mean, potential clients. You um, uh, find connections, maybe. Um, you <clears throat> are really just working on um, giving people conceptual estimates, you know, napkin sketches, just really ballparking what a job would entail and how much it would cost, really. Um, you can something that we we might be doing we, and that we have done at Headwaters is interviewing for specific jobs um, in order to be awarded a bit award be awarded a project um, to, to to be to be the general contractor for that project um, part of that is you know, this is this step is really important that we do here because without this we don't really we don't have jobs to work on in the future we don't have jobs that we can go in uh, do all the pre-construction work. We can't go and find uh, subcontractors for. So this is a really crucial part. And the next step that we um, go on about is called the you know bud budgeting design slash planning phase. So this is when we are <clears throat> we're making schedules. We're developing the project with the owner. We're consulting with the owner and the architect. We're getting plans from the architect. We're creating budgets for that project, for each division that would be involved in that project, you know, any of the master format, master format divisions, as far as you know, concrete, general conditions, masonry, specialties, um, all, all that stuff, all MEPs. Um, we, <clears throat> um, we are, we, we break that, that into three, different um, phases of the design. So I talked about conceptual estimates before, um, but even before we do conceptual estimate with the business development kind of going back is, and that's just really basic. We find out, we give them how much it would cost, just really, really ballpark it. Um, with budgeting, design, and planning, we have the three different types. We have conceptual, con schematic estimate, and then we have design development. Um, and that will be you know, conceptual is, you know, is, is basic. We have our, our napkin sketch design. Schematic is a little more um, in detail. We're getting to more of the itty-gritty uh, itty nitty-gritty um, uh, details of the project that will give us uh, more, a, more, a better idea of what the project would cost and what it would entail. Design development, that's even more in detail. And after that, we get our construction documents, which are... Um, documents that are approved by the city and we have permits set for those. So we have uh, permits that we can use for the project. 
And once we have those plans as a general contractor, we then start solicitating subs to, uh, to work on that project for us. So we, we, we use certain um, uh, programs that we can fill out a job, uh, a job, uh, a job information, a project. We can invite certain uh, subs. We can invite lots of subs, just anyone who, um, yeah, is needed for a certain project. We can invite certain trades uh, make sure we get everyone invited that we need. And we're able to get bids from uh, all the different subcontractors we need through those programs. This is something that I did quite a bit um, during my internship is uh, putting these projects together in our, in the programs that we use. So, and then making sure everything is there and having all the trades there for that project and making sure that we get all the subs invited to bid on that project that we need. Another thing that I did quite a bit uh, through this process was called drawing reviews, which is basically going through the drawings and making sure that we understand the project. I would go through and uh, just identify all the different scopes of work and trades that we would need. Anything that's uh, really kind of unusual, we would make sure we catch that. Anything that the subcontractors might miss in their bid that they sent to us, we uh, make sure we, we realize what that is and we uh, make note of it so that in the future when we are um, making contracts to the subcontractors that we're awarding the, the project to, that they know what their responsibility is as a sub for that specific trade, for that specific scope of work. Um, after we uh, put together bids from all the different companies, subs for a project, we're able to um, uh, put an estimate together, a better estimate for our, the client for the project. And then we, in, in different types of uh, forms of, uh, of design and building process, we can either give them a hard bid, um, a guaranteed maximum price of what it could be. Um, and we also have a GMGC where we're the general contractor. We're working with the client, we're working with a, the owner of the project through the whole process, trying to figure out the budget with them. Um, hard bid is, you know, that's the, the price is going to, this is going to be the price. It's going to be how much it costs. And that's what we give to the, the owner. So there's a few different ways. I won't go into too much detail for that. Um, uh, after that, we are able to do what's called a turnover meeting. And we would meet with the project manager, project engineer for the pro the, uh, for the project that we are working on. We go over everything that we um, have found out about the project and during our pre-construction phase. So all the subs, all any, any information that is really re relevant for the project manager and the superintendent, and all the, those people that are part of that, the operation phase of that project. So that's kind of what uh, we do as a pros to pro for our jobs at at Headwaters, we kind of go through that process of um, going through uh, projects and getting them ready for it to be built. So uh, I was involved in quite a bit of that during my internship. I was able to attend uh, bid openings for, for public works projects, which was really interesting seeing all the different bids and how, it, how something like that works. I was able to do different takeoffs for projects, um, just verifying uh, quantities for uh, concrete, for site furnishings. I was also able to to do quite a bit of lumber takeoffs for projects. So that was a great uh, opportunity for me, for me to better understand my uh, knowledge of uh, doing estimates and takeoffs for uh, off of plants. Um, <clears throat> another thing that we did a lot was talk with subcontractors. You know, we always uh, we always need subcontractors for projects. So I was able to do quite a bit of um, talking with them and seeing if they're going to be bidding on projects so that we have um, always have subs that are willing to bid on those projects and that there are right there uh, going to have that we have. So we have a good relationship to them. Really just talking with them a lot is what we did a lot. I, was, I made uh, probably close to a thousand calls. During, throughout this internship, just to different subcontractors, um, 
talk to them about projects and seeing if they're going to be bidding projects uh, for us, uh, that type of thing. Another uh, thing that I was involved in quite a bit um, that I kind of talked about before was coordinating with um, meetings with owners and architects. I was able to attend those and kind of um, uh, kind of took a backseat, just uh, kind of learning how the, the process for that was going. But I was able to see how that process works of um, uh, making sure we understand what the owner wants for the project. And as a general contractor, that is our uh, head or headwaters. That is our um, purpose. And that's what we want to do is, uh, uh, is to satisfy the client and make sure that they're happy with the project and uh, that we uh, are able to have a smooth um, pre-construction and then a smooth transition to the operation part phase of the project so um, that we can make our clients happy and um, we get whatever they want built done. So that's a little bit of what I did during my internship. Uh, it was an amazing opportunity for me. And